Welcome back to Tipsy Whiskey Shenanigans. I'm Steven, and today, tonight, whenever the heck you're watching this, we are getting into my top 600 proof bourbons. But before we get into that, please do me that favor. Like, comment, and subscribe. Helps us out a ton. Appreciate the support. But let's get in today's video. So I've been drinking a lot of 100 proof whiskey recently due to the fact that it's summer. So I thought, what the heck? Let's do a video about my top go-to 100 proof bourbons. So let's kick it right off with one that you'll probably be expecting a mile away. Wilderness Trail Bottled and Bond. Wilderness Trail Bottled and Bond is one of my favorite bonded products and bonded also implies that it is a hundred proof on the dot i absolutely love this stuff this is kind of the up-and-coming kentucky bourbon um that's not necessarily a you know heritage distillery but also not small time and craft anymore at this point these guys do really really good stuff this is a really stereotypical super sweet like heavy brown sugary type bourbon uh 49.99 here at my local store and i really that is such a crushable great flavor profile a little nutty heavy brown sugar really freaking great if you haven't had any of their stuff before i definitely think this is a go-to and i should also preface this the black label one or the dark gray whatever you want to call this uh, as they do have a yellow label one and that is a weeded mash bill i'm not very pro the weeded mash bill bourbons or weeded bourbons so i like the ride the brown one black one that is brown black gray whatever color it is that is a high rye mash bill and that is the one i think is well worth the money 49.99 that being said i haven't even had the weeded so i can't really talk anything bad about it and i just again don't buy weeded products but after that one one that you might be surprised to see on this list because i kind of talk a little bit negatively about it per se and that is E.H. Taylor small batch and again my only negativity about this bottle is that it's buffalo traits it's hard as heck to find that being said it's really freaking good buffalo trace is good i mean there's a reason buffalo trace has that stigma and they're super hard to find because dang they make a good bourbon buffalo trace for me it's a little bit lighter a little bit more of that crisp green apple kind of like bright vanillas caramels type flavor profile so i really really have been digging this one i actually killed uh my backup bottle or well this is now the you know only bottle i have during the summer because man i've been really really liking that like vanilla sweetness that brightness that i get off a lot of buffalo trace like i drink a lot of buffalo trace during the summer and this is kind of that you know premium version of buffalo trace at 100 proof a little bit more of a oomph to it really really good really sweet just again a very really nice if you like buffalo trace you're gonna love ah taylor because it's that and so much more and after that one another heritage distillery a lot of these are going to be heritage distilleries it just is what it is full disclosure um four roses single barrel this is going to be one not everyone's going to agree on some people don't like this some people really love it i'm obviously in the camp of i really really like this and one of the main reasons i really like this is not only the flavor profile this brings but also the price this is very findable and it's like 35 40 bucks in my area at least last time i bought one of these that's where it was at uh so i mean it's probably more now knowing how you know the bourbon industry has been but this one is a really really awesome fun interesting bourbon uh Four Rose is kind of known for more of a floral, kind of spicier type bourbon flavor profile. So for me, it's a lot more floral, has a little bit more of that baking spice. So I really like having this one on my shelf because it really shows a different dimension of bourbon that you don't really see a lot of other places because a lot of other distilleries they kind of gear things a little bit more towards that sweetness range where four roses they gear towards that floral more spicier one and i really like that because it adds a bit of variance to my actual collection and after that one we're gonna run two 
really close back to back because they're from the same family and I think they're both really good. Old Forster 1897, Old Forster bib and Cooper's Craft 100. These two are one of my favorite flavor profiles at 100. I'm a huge sucker for that browned Foreman flavor profile. So this is kind of my premium. I really like this. Honestly, I might get some flack for saying this, but I think this bottling is much better than the Old Forester orange label screw top. And I know people are probably going to complain about me saying that, but I think it's, it's better. You know, it's that nutty, banana sundae split, cherry syrup, chocolate syrup, caramel drizzle, you know, everything going on. Like this is a loaded sundae, loaded banana split sundae. And this is exactly that. This stuff is fantastic. This is honestly one of my favorite bottlings and I'm going to have to replace it. This is kind of like my go-to warm up pour or go to kind of like gauge pour because this is a very much so really well done middle of the pack middle price point bourbon i mean it's a 50 dollar 100 proof bourbon really really freaking solid i really like that flavor profile and helps me kind of distinguish it so when i'm going into blinds it's kind of like my warm-up whiskey because it's uh you know medium price point so it's like this will show you kind of a not budget bourbon but it shows you kind of that mid-tier type bourbon that 50 60 dollar bourbon quality that you're gonna expect 100 proof which is kind of that mid-tier proof point like it's just a great great baseline if you will kind of on the more budgety she side as well cooper's craft 100 this is probably the best sub 30 dollar bourbon i mean or exactly 30 dollar bourbon this is a 30 dollar brown foreman product this is kind of the cheaper version of that old forester a little bit different this is a little bit sweeter in my opinion in the same sense of how i approach that old forester 1897 i like that kind of baseline type whiskey and that's what those two offer for me because i really like to go to the old forster brown foreman flavor profile for a baseline because i just really like it that's what kind of cut my teeth in a bourbon so i love going back to that and last but definitely not least because this is my personal favorite 100 proof bourbon the priciest one but well worth the money i would take this over any of these bottles any day of the week knob creek 12 year old this is the greatest 100 proof bourbon that has ever existed and will ever exist. I mean, that's a bold statement. There's probably some really great limited stuff. It's just when I'm going limited, I'm going cash strength or it's a weird one-off proof like 98.72 or something like that. But this stuff is, it, it goes in other places that none of these other bourbons I brought up previously go because this goes in that oak that oak and obviously yeah they're bourbon so you can imply like oh hey there's some oak on the flavor profiles but this brings in some oak but it's also not like ultra aged overwhelming oak it's a little bit more prevalent with the oak than your average bottling so you can definitely tell that there's a little bit more age to it but it's not so oak where it's like you're chewing on an oak stave or something of that nature this lots of red fruits a little bit of onions oak lots of vanilla sweetness and then well like i said more oak it is a 12 year old 100 proof knob creek for i think last time i checked like 60 65 bucks either which way really well worth the money like honestly this is one of those kind of semi allocated clappers if you will this is one that kind of shows up more so i would say like i'll put this a little less allocated than kind of like an Elijah Craig barrel proof. You know there's gonna be a batch, you know it's gonna be released, it's gonna hit the shelves, it's gonna go away after like a few weeks or so, and that's kind of where this is at. It comes and goes, but when you do see it, I always try to grab another bottle because I know the one I have on my shelf is gonna probably, you know, not last long because like I said, I'm a huge fanboy of those Knob Creeks. This is kind of like one of my favorite just go-to everyday type pours, just like that Old Forester 1897. Not necessarily a baseline because the flavor profile is more oaky, but I love myself that Knob Creek 12. 
That being said, this is a wrap for today's video. Please do me that favor, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below what you thought about my list. Also, what will be your go-to or some of your top favorite 100 proof bourbons? I know there's a lot of really good hitters out there. Um, these are just kind of my go-to. These are the ones that I find accessible that I really enjoy to drink and whatnot. So let me know down below what's your favorite. Also, check out the Facebook, Instagram, and the Patreon. Links for all that stuff as well down there below. That's a wrap. Cheers, y'all. We'll see you later.